God keep you both. Let the third child be quickly baptized and let you go to church every Sabbath day and keep a solemn, quiet way among you. And I think that... Jack! 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 Giles, what's the matter? They took my wife. And here's Rebecca. Aye, Cheever come and take her in his wagon. We've only come now from the jail. They won't even let us in to see them. They've surely gone wild now, Mr. Hale. Reverend Hale, can you not speak to the deputy governor? I'm sure he mistakes these people. Pray, calm yourself, Mr. Nurse. My wife is the very brick and mortar of this church, and Giles, her, his Martha Corey, there cannot be a woman closer to God than Martha. How is Rebecca charged, Mr. Nurse? For murder she's charged! For the marvelous and supernatural murder of Goody Putnam's babies. What am I to do, Mr. Hale? Believe me, Mr. Nurse, if Rebecca be tainted, then there's nothing left to stop the whole green world from burning. Put your trust in the court. The court will send her home. I know it. You cannot mean that she'll be tried in court. Nurse, though our hearts break, we cannot flinch. These are new times, sir. There's a misty plot afoot. So subtle, we should be criminal to cling to old respects and ancient friendships. I've seen too many frightful proofs in court. The devil is alive in Salem, and we dare not quail to follow wherever the accusing finger points. How may such a woman murder children? Man, remember, until an hour before the devil fell, God felt him beautiful in heaven. I never said my wife were a witch, Mr. Hale. I only said she were reading books. Mr. Corey, exactly what complaint were made against your wife? That bloody mongrel Walcott's charged her. You see, he bought a pig from my wife about four or five years ago, and the pig died soon after. And then he came dancing back for his money. So my Martha says to him, Walcott, if you haven't got the wit to feed a pig properly, you'll not live to own many. <laughs> now he goes to court and claims that from the day she said this, he cannot keep alive for about more than four weeks because my Martha bewitched him with her books. Good evening to you, Proctor. Why, Mr. Cheever, good evening. Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Hale. I hope you don't come on business of the court. I, I do, Proctor, I do. I am a clerk of the court now, you know. It's a pity, Ezekiel, that an honest tailor who might have gone to heaven must now go to hell. You'll burn for this. Do you know it? Know yourself, Giles, that I must do as I'm told. I must. You know that, Giles. Uh, I, uh, I, I would appreciate it if you didn't say I was going to hell. I don't like it. I don't like the sound of it. So, John, um... Now, believe me, Mr. Proctor, um, how heavy the law be the law, all, all its tonnage, I do carry that weight on my back tonight, and uh, I, uh, I, I have a warrant for your wife. You said she were not charged. I know nothing of it. When were she charged? I'm given 16 warrant tonight, sir, and she, she's one. Who charged her? Why, well, Abigail Williams charged her. On what proof? What proof? Mr. Proctor, I, I have little time, and the court bids me to search your house, but I'd rather not search your house. So to save some time, if you could hand over any poppets or dolls that your wife may have. Thanks. Poppets? I never kept no poppets, not since I was a girl. Why, I see a poppet, Goody Proctor. Dun dun. Oh, why, why, this is Mary. Would you please give it to me? <laughs> Has the court discovered a text in Poppets now? Do, do you keep any others in this house? 
No, nor this one either till tonight. Well, what signifies a poppet? Now, a poppet, a pop, a pop may might signify. Uh, you're gonna need to come with me, ma'am. She will not. No, Elizabeth, you fetch Mary. No, I, I, I am forbid to leave her from my sight. You'll leave her out of sight, out of mind, and now Elizabeth, go get Mary. What signifies a poppet, Mr. Cheever? Why, they say it might signify that she is, um, what? What? <gasps> this, this, this. What's there? It is a needle. It is a needle, Mr. Herrick. Mr. Herrick, it's a needle. And what signifies a needle? Why, I, I, this goes hard, hard against her, Proctor. I... I had my doubts, Proctor, but there, there's this is here's calamity. Uh, see, Mr. Hale, it's 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 a needle. Why? What what meaning has it? The girl, the the Williams girl, Abigail Williams, sir. She sat to dinner at, Re at Reverend Parrish's house, and without word nor warning, she just falls falls right on over, and she screams. She screamed like the sound a bull would wait to hear. And here he goes to save her, and stuck two inches in the flesh of her belly, he draws out a needle, a demanding of her how she came to be stabbed. So to testify, it, she testifies it were her wife, that it were your wife, that put the needle in her. Why, she done it herself! I hope you're not taking this as proof, mister! Tis hard proof! I find here, in this house, a poppet, Goody, Goody Proctor keeps and the belly that poppet. I've had, I've had the needle, sir. I, I tell you, true Proctor, I never warranted to see such proof of hell, and I bid you obstruct me not, for I. Here now, Mary, how did this poppet come into my house? What poppet's that, sir? This one, the only doll here. This one. I, I, I think it's mine. It is your papa, is it not? It, it is, sir. And how did it come into this house? Why, why, I made it in court, sir, and I, I gave it to Goody Proctor tonight. Now, sir, do you have it? Mary Warren, a needle has been found inside this poppet. Why, I didn't mean no harm by it, sir. You stuck that needle in yourself? Uh, I, I believe it. I did, sir. I... What say you now? Child, are you sure this be your natural memory? Maybe even someone now conjures you to say otherwise? C conjures me? Why, no, sir. I'm, I'm entirely myself, I think. Well, you asked Susanna Walcott. She saw me sewing it in, in court. and or, or better yet, Abigail. Abigail Williams. Abby, Abby sat next to me when I made it. Bid him be gone. Your mind is surely settled by now, Mr. Hale. Bid him out. What signifies a needle? Mary, you charge a cold and cruel murder on Abigail. Murder? I charge no. Abigail was stabbed tonight. She found a needle in her belly. And she charges me? I. Why, the girl is murder. She is murder and she should be ripped out of the world. You've heard it. You've heard it ripped out of the world. You heard it, Herrick. Proctor, you dare not touch the warrant. Out with you! You've ripped the deputy governor's warrant, man! Damn the deputy governor out of my house! Now, Proctor, Proctor! You can get out too! You're a broken minister! If she is innocent, how can we never wonder if Paris is innocent? Or if Abigail is innocent, what is the accuser always holy now? Were they born yesterday as clean as God's fingers? I'll tell you what's walking in Salem. Vengeance is walking in Salem. But now, all the crazy little children have got the keys to the kingdom. And vengeance writes the law. I'll tell you what, this warrant is vengeance and I will not give my life over to vengeance. I'll... I'll go, John. You will not go. I have nine men outside. You cannot keep her. 
The law binds me, John. I cannot budge. Will you see her taken? Proctor, the court is just... Pontius Pilate, you are just as guilty. God will not let you wash your hands of this. John, I, I must go with them. Mary, there's bread enough for the morning. In the afternoon, you'll bake. Help Mr. Proctor as if you were his own daughter. You owe me that and, and much more. John, when the, when the children wake, speak nothing of witchcraft because it'll frighten them, okay? I will bring you home. I will bring you home soon. Oh, John, bring me soon. I will fall like an ocean on that court and fear nothing, Elizabeth. I will fear nothing. Oh, tell the children I've, I've gone to visit someone sick. Herrick! Herrick, don't you train her! Damn you, man, you will not chain her! I've, no, I, I will not have it! Off with them! And yet, silent minister, it's fraud. It's fraud, and you know it. What keeps you, man? I'll pay you, Herrick! I will surely pay you! For God's sake, John, I cannot help myself. I have to chain them all. Now let you keep inside this house till I'm gone. Mr. Proctor? Out of my sight! Charity, Proctor, charity! What I have heard in her favor, I will not fear to testify in court. God help me, I cannot judge whether she be innocent or guilty, I know not. Only this consider, the world goes mad, and it profit nothing, should you lay the cause to the vengeance of a little girl. You are a coward! Though you be ordained in God's own tears, you are a coward now! Proctor, I cannot think God be provoked so grandly by such a petty cause. The jails are packed. Our greatest judges sit in Salem now, and hangings promised. Man, we must look to cause proportionate. <sighs> Were there murder done, perhaps, and never brought to light? Abomination, a secret blasphemy that stinks to heaven? Think on cause, man, and let your help be me to discover it. For there's a, your way, believe it, there is your only way. When such confusion strikes upon the world, let your counsel among yourselves. Think your village and what may have drawn from heaven such thundering wrath upon you. I shall pray God open up our eyes. I have never heard no murder done in Salem. Leave me, Francis. Leave me. John, tell me, are we lost? Go home, guys. We'll speak on it tomorrow. I'll let you think on it. I'll come early tomorrow. Ah, uh, go on now, guys. Good night, then. Mr. Mr. Proctor, very likely they'll let her come home once they've given proper evidence. I'll not charge murder on Abigail. You will tell the court what happened, and how that pop came here, and how that needle got stuck in it. She'll kill me for saying that! Abby will charge lechery on you, Mr. Proctor! She told you. I have known it, sir. I have known it. She'll ruin you with it. I know she will. Then her saltiness is done with. We will slide together into our pit. You will go to the court and tell them what you know. I cannot! I cannot! They'll turn on me! My wife will never die for me. I will not let that goodness die for me. I will bring your guts into your mouth, and I will not let that goodness die for me. I cannot! I cannot! Make your peace with it. Now hell and heaven grapple on our backs, and all our old pretenses ripped away. Make your peace! Peace. It is a providence and no great change. We are only what we always were, but naked now. I, naked, and the wind, God's icy wind will blow. I can't, I cannot, I cannot.